Hey there, guys. All right, today we are back with some Salmonella. Salmonella. The Salmonella Reaction Channel is back. For those that may not be aware, Salmonella is essentially the reason why I was able to hit a thousand subscribers in like my first, uh, uh, like the first like three, four months that I was doing YouTube way back in 2020 when I first started. Um, so, and there was like in November, uh, or no, was it October? I can't remember. But yeah, uh, Salmonella pretty much is the reason I got to a thousand subscribers. Um, so it always hold a special place in my heart. Now, I haven't watched every single video by Salmonella because I've always felt a little um, not wanting to really, because they're not history related, the videos that I have not watched. Uh, and this video is not history related either. I don't think. I mean, technically, we could spin this to be history related. Um, but uh, I'm not going to try. I'm just. <laughs> because uh, plant diseases could be, you know, history related. You know, humanity, society, civilizations have had to deal with uh, crop failure because of disease so many times, right? The potato famine the Irish potato famine that was a bad time um I'm trying to think of other ones uh the the, the dust well, the dust bowl wasn't plant disease <laughs> um but uh before we dive in make sure you go and check out the links in the description box below I believe I don't know if the kickstarter today is either the last day of the kickstarter or it shut down today I'm not sure Whichever it is, the link is still going to be there. Um, so if it works and it takes you to the the Kickstarter and says it's still up, then it's still up for today. Today's the last day. Um, but yeah, I hope you... Uh, I was about to do my typical, like, I hope you guys enjoyed thing I'd say at the end. My brain blinking. Let's fucking watch Salmonella and probably get traumatized by his art. Hey kids, remember the plague, hey malaria, smallpox? Kind of bad, right? Well, guess yeah. what? They're peanuts compared to the level of destruction that's been wreaked over the years across the kingdom next door. Today, I'm going to talk about some of the most interesting diseases to ever strike the world of plants. The most famous one is probably the potato blight. It's a fungus that attacks potatoes. This is what it looks like. On the left, we have a healthy potato. Wait, hold up, hold up. Is this actually, could this actually be, end up being legitimately history related? But while on the right, we have a blighty one. Notice how this one is noble and robust, like a lion's heart, while the other is shriveled and black, like Betsy DeVos's uterus. You could try. I didn't need that imagery. I did not need that imagery. I to eat it, but it's basically like rotting cork. You wouldn't get very far. So in 1845, Ireland... It is! <laughs> ...relied a lot on potatoes, right? That's because their soil was dumb, and that's the most nutritious thing they could grow. Then the blight came, and all... Okay. Kind of the soil was dumb. Uh, so, essentially, the people that grew the potatoes were the poor. Um, because it, the calorie per acreage for a potato is very, very high. Uh, and yes, the soil in uh, a lot, in a, de a good portion of Ireland is very bad. But that is when there is a lot of good soil in Ireland. The thing is, the good soil was owned by, uh, the English are English citing Irish landowners, you know, um, so ruled essentially by the English, the poor, the native Irish were, uh, you know, they did not have access to the good land. So they had to do their potato farming on uh, uh, the bad land. All their food turned to poo. One million starved, two million left. They came to America. They brought freckles and these things. Hoi to toy to toy. Now we have... 
Hoity toity toy. <laughs> the Celtics. Next is the Chestnut Blight. Isn't it the Celtics? Or is it the Celtics? I don't know, sports ball. Which infects, you guessed it, the elderly. Wait, no, that's shingles. Chestnut blight infects American chestnut trees, which once populated a huge portion of the south and mid-Atlantic regions of the country. Key word. Once. During the early 20th century, the blight arrived, which ended up killing around 4 billion trees over the course I've never heard of this course one. of a couple decades. Hey, remember that time four billion giant things died inexplicably? Me neither. Nobody does. Let me give some perspective on the situation. Those trees were huge, like 40 meters tall apiece. That means 160 million. Did all the American chestnuts die then? Because four billion is so many. That makes me think the entire, all of them died. But he's not saying all of the American chestnuts died. It's just saying for bill billion <laughs> kilometers of tree was destroyed by this disease. That's long enough to get from the earth to the sun with 10 million kilometers to spare. Here's another. If we take the volume of all these trees, we get 126 billion cube. Sam, this is too much math for me. I majored in history. I have a bachelor's in history. I can barely do addition, okay? Big meters. If we burn that much wood, we get 861 quadrillion joules of energy. That's the amount released by the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Times 10,000. Oh my so, god. So yeah, kind of a big deal. But who cares, right? Why worry about 4 billion dumb smelly old trees when there's a thousand whole pandas that need our help? Isn't that right, WWF? You populist scum. Anyway, move. I love you, Salmonella. Moving on, this next one is called, get ready, broom rape. I'm serious. Broom rape. Broom rape. Wikipedia, broom rape. Naked broom rape. Imagine if we gave human illnesses names like that. I'm sorry, Sam, but you have urethra cactus. I would just end it right there. Doesn't <laughs> even matter what the actual symptoms are. Anyway, broom rape is considered a parasitic plant. This is what it does. The seeds of the broom rape will hang out in the soil for years until the roots of a host plant come along. When they do, the broom rape bursts out of its shell and immediately starts leaching off the other organism. Eventually, once they grow enough, they'll breach the surface with these little flowers. Notice, no leaves, no green. Who needs chlorophyll when you're a filthy freeloader, right? These flowers get fertilized and the whole thing starts over. Just one of these guys isn't a big deal to the host. But once you get enough, they have the potential to suck an entire farm dry, causing sweeping crop failure. Pun definitely intended. Next is this one. There's a few different ways you can pronounce it depending on your social standing, ranging from ergit to elgo. Being the disheveled pauper I am, I prefer ergot. It rolls off the tongue, you know. Ergot is a that's the one I go with, yeah. A fungus that mainly infects grains like wheat, barley, and especially rye. And it's capable of producing mainly infects uh... grains like wheat, barley, and especially rye. Yes, they all look the same. Google image it. The hell do you want for me? And it's capable of producing a whole soup of compounds called alkaloids, which can have a variety of effects on the human body. Most of them not fun. Mostly spasms and diarrhea, that kind of thing. Ugh. However, one particular alkaloid called ergetamine structurally resembles LSD oh. and has a similar function when it enters the body. So a medieval peasant would be sitting there, eating a nice loaf of rye bread, just minding his own business. Then all of a sudden, holy shit, I'm blasting out of both ends! My heart it's a season, my lungs are wheezing, the fucking walls are melting, I can hear Satan's voice, he's telling me to invest in Apple, what does that mean? Why does he want me to buy apples? This would go on for like a day, sometimes their fingers and toes would fall off, but then they'd be alright. Unless they weren't. Moral of the story kids, don't eat strange- You know, I always, I, I, it's never, I never forget. How fucked up Sam Nella is. But for some reason, every time I watch him, he still impresses me with how fucked up he is. Every single time, without fail. Without fail. I... This man needs to be studied. Change bread. You could trip balls and die. One more thing before we end today's video, I've decided to launch a second channel for all the dumb stuff I think of that doesn't fit the Academy format. It's called Salmonella Vlog. Go check it out. It's in the description. That's another channel he doesn't, you know, upload to. I wrote a slam poem. It's there. Go look. Anyway, that's all for today. Till next time, I'm Salmonella, and thank you for watching. And that was Plant Diseases by Salmonella. Um, I...
I've got nothing to add here at the end. Uh, this was an entertaining one. Um, I think I might, I might just go balls to the wall and just watch every single fucking Salmonella uh, video that I have left to watch. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably still gonna title them Historian Reacts because why the fuck not? Um, I don't, I, you know, in the first like year, you know, first two years of YouTube here, I, 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 I gave a little shit. Now I don't. <laughs> I don't anymore. I, I don't, I give up. I'm just... but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe from, subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.